Hello friends and welcome to Storytime with Teacher Julian. Today's book comes all the way from the country of Thailand. It's called The Girl Who Wore Too Much. See all the, all the clothes that she's wearing? It was retold by Margaret Reed MacDonald and illustrated by Yvonne Lebrun Davis. And it says the Thai text was by Superporn Vathan Prita. And that means that the little writing in um, the Thailand language is at the bottom of the page. And I'll show you that when we go along. But it's uh, beautifully illustrated, which means that the pictures are very vibrant. Lots of colors. And I hope you like this book. The Girl Who Wore Too Much. And you can also see on the cover that she is wearing a lot of clothes. The story is about a little girl who her parents buy her everything. And yet when it comes time to go do something, go to a dance, she can't decide on what she's going to wear. So let's get started. The girl who wore too much. Look at all that clothes on the clothesline. Ari's parents gave that girl everything that she wanted. You can see right here, this is the language. This is the Taiwan. Thailand language right here. It looks a little bit different from what we usually use. They showered her, that girl, with gifts. Ari, those golden earrings would look so attractive on your dainty ear. We must buy them for you. Ari, that silver bracelet would look so lovely on your little arm. We must buy it for you. Ari, that ruby ring would look so sweet on your slender finger. We must buy it for you. They bought all that jewelry for her. Now it says that she has a dainty ear. It just means that it's small and very cute. And yeah. And it showered her with gifts. It means that they gave her a whole bunch. It's not just like one or two things. They showered her with so many. That's a lot. And whenever they saw an especially beautiful silk, they would cry, Oh, Ari, that would look so lovely in that color. We must buy it for you. So many colors. Ari's room was stuffed with boxes of jewels and chests full of silk. Then she heard of a dance in the village beyond the mountains. Now, how can I show off my fine clothes? But which color should I wear? The pink, the fuchsia, the scarlet. The sky blue or the aquamarine? Maybe violet. Deep purple? Magenta. Maybe chartreuse or emerald green? I, I think I'll wear pink. Now when she says she wants to show off her fine clothes, it just means that she wants everyone to see what she has. She's showing it off. She put on a pasin of bright pink silk. A pasin is the type of a dress that they would wear, a fancy dress in Thailand. And silk is the kind of cloth that um, it's made out of. And it's, it's very, very soft. And she, she said, but there was also green the color of emeralds. 
The green is so elegant, perhaps I could wear both. So she quickly put on the green right on top of the pink. Now I can show off two of my silks. Still, this fuchsia is the brightest of all. I think I'll wear it too. In putting the fuchsias on top of the green, she twirled around and around. I'm going to be the most beautiful girl at a dance. This chartreuse is especially gorgeous. And look at this bright blue. No one has silk as expensive as mine. Why not? I'll wear them too. The aquamarine, the violet, and this purple with the threads of pure gold. With all my dresses, I'm certain to be the most beautiful girl at the dance. I see that Ari is dancing around with all of her clothes on. Look at the many layers of clothes that she's wearing. All the clothes, one on top of the other. But look at her face, how she happy she is, dancing around with all of her clothes on. Uh-oh. And putting dress over dress, that vain girl soon had chosen them all. Wearing all of those heavy dresses, Ari could hardly move. <sighs> They're a bit heavy, but look at me. I am the most beautiful girl at the dance. Hmm. Look at her face. What's coming off of it? It says the vain girl. Vain means that you took they take pride in how you look but maybe a little bit too much now which bracelet shall i wear the gold yes the silver of course the jade my favorite and my rings the ruby the sapphire the emerald the pearl the opal oh yes 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 Soon she was wearing every piece of jewelry that she owned. Look at her reflection in the mirror. You can see all of the jewelry that she's wearing. Earrings and necklaces and bracelets and bangles and baubles and rings. And look, there's even more. Look, she even has them on her feet. Wah, wah. Just then, her friends arrived. Ari, you look... Um, they didn't know what to say. Ari stumbled from her house, wearing rings and silks and bracelets and earrings. She could hardly walk. But she was proud. Just look at my beautiful clothes. Just look at my gold and my jewelry. I am certain to be the most beautiful girl at the dance. Ari looked silly. Her friends tried not to laugh. Look at Ari's face and look at her friends' face, faces. Hmm. So it says that she, um, she was stumbling from her house. That means she's almost tripped. She's like, what, 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 what? she didn't fall, but she was tripping hard. And it says that she was also proud. So sometimes when you dress up and you're feeling proud how you look, it's a, it's a good thing. You're proud of, of, how, of, of what you did. Maybe a little too proud, huh? They started off for the dance, but Ari could not keep up. She was, soon she was huffing and puffing. <laughs> wait for me, wait for me, 
<laughs> I can't get up the hill. Why couldn't she get up that hill? Hmm? Her friends are going up the hill, no problem. Her friends came back to help. We could push you up the hill. Don't, don't, don't push, don't push. You'll wrinkle my dresses. Well, we could pull you up the hill. Don't pull, don't pull. You'll soil all my clothes. So, the girls left Ari and went on. I'm trying to help. You can see, pushing and pulling. But when she says she doesn't want them to soil her dress, it means she doesn't want to get them dirty. She's very prideful on how she looks and all of her beautiful clothes, and she doesn't want to get them dirty. She doesn't want her friends to get them dirty either. Ari stumbled along for a while, but soon... Wait! Wait for me! I can't get up the hill! Her friends came back once more. Ari, take off your bracelets, take off your heavy rings, take off some of your dresses, then you can climb up the hill. No, no, you are just jealous of my fine clothing. Then I won't be the most beautiful girl at the dance. Ari refused to take off anything at all. So her friends just left her there. They went on to the dance without her. Look at her face. Hmm. Her friends are concerned about her, but she doesn't want to help. Ari thinks that her friends are jealous because she has a lot of stuff and they don't have so much. So when somebody says, you're jealous, it means that they think that, oh, you want what they have or they want what you have. That's being jealous. That person has more toys than I do. I'm jealous that they have more toys. All day in the hot sun, Ari trudged up the hill. By nightfall, she had just reached the top. There she stopped, stuck in her heavy clothes, too exhausted to take another step. Exhausted means like she's super tired. When her friends returned from the dance, Ari was still too tired to move. By the time they had fetched her parents, Ari was vain no more. Mother, father, I wore too much. I don't need all these clothes. Then take off your, some of your dresses and take off those heavy jewels. We have taught you to want too much. You must learn to be happy with, with less. So, jewel by jewel, dress by dress, Ari gave away all of her things. So when it says that Ari was vain, it says Ari was vain no more. Vain means to, to have too much pride in how you look. That's what it means. She was too proud. Remember? She was proud how she looked. But maybe just a little bit too much. That's being vain. And the next time she went to a dance, she was lovely in one simple dress. The end. Back of the book and her beautiful little cat. The girl who wore too much. So in the beginning of the book, it says that Ari feels very lucky because she has everything that she wants. Her mom and dad buy her the silk and the jewels, everything. Hmm. How do you think her friends feel about that?
She has everything. They hardly have anything. How would you feel? In this scene where she's getting pushed and pulled up the hill, I wonder why then she just didn't stop, take off some of the clothes, some of the jewelry, and return back, maybe take them back to her village. What could she have done if she did take off that clothes and the jewelry? What do you think? Do you think her friends would have helped her? Well, they're helping her here, right? I think they would have they would have done something. When Aria is sitting at the top of the hill, she finally got there, too exhausted to move, and she misses the dance. How do you think she feels right there? Do you think she realized that um, perhaps she should have left some of the clothes at home or, or maybe not even wore that much in the first place? How do you think she feels now? Yeah. I think she misses her friends and is sad because she missed the dance. She tried hard to look her best. But her friends told her a few times that she was wearing a lot. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed The Girl Who Wore Too Much. I enjoyed reading it with you. And until next time, I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs>